hello, 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 everyone. I'm going to turn this down a little bit more. Hello, hello, how are we doing? I was just rocking out to that, and I just was like, oh, I should probably, like, say something. <laughs> I was just like, this is good, I like this track. Uh, hi, everyone. Hi, hello, hello. Uh, we're going to play some Control uh, today. Um, and it's going to be a good time, hopefully. Hopefully it's going to be a good time. Hopefully we're going to find out a little bit more about what's been going on, uh, about what's happening, because, oh boy, this game is is just... It's just blowing my mind! Uh, but that's fine, that's fine. Okay, I think we can, uh, we can bring this music to a close. There we go. About that's fine. That's all good. Okay, thanks, 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 music. That was good. I enjoyed that piece of that piece of music. That was that was some some pretty good music. Uh, let's press this button. Hi everyone. Hi. Uh, and then we're gonna press this button to launch the game, and then we should be ready to rock and roll, as they say. Hopefully. Anytime now. Anytime. Anytime now. And there we go. It, it's it's kind of working. <laughs> there we go. It's all good. Uh, so yeah. So uh, last time, which was yesterday, was it yesterday? Yes. Oh my god. Locked. I'm getting lockdown brain. <laughs> where I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what day it is or what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, so yesterday we last played Control. Um, I don't feel like we really got much in the way of revelationary information. We got lots of little bits of information about uh, new objects of power um, and uh, some other things. The rubber duck, we want to find and be able to get to the rubber duck. Uh, which we couldn't manage to do last time. Uh, we couldn't manage to get there uh, last time. We know how, I know how to get there, but we just didn't have the ability to get high enough to go through the little gap at the top. So we couldn't get the rubber duck, which was a shame. Um, but yeah. So uh, with this game... Uh, this game is 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 still bonkers, uh, and it's still I'm still not really sure what's going on or why or why just why. Um, and I keep dying because uh, I I keep forgetting to like take cover, uh, and I keep forgetting to like check on my health. Uh, so yeah, so I'm hoping. I'm hoping that uh, that we, we now that we've got we've had a few this new get us into the quarry. we've had a few new upgrades. Um, I don't think we've got any more. No, we've only got one. We've only got one of these at the moment. Uh, but we had like we've got some more upgrades on here. We've got some upgrades on here. Like this one, for example, was like top tier thing. So our energy recovery speed is increased by sixty percent. So um, we should be able to use like any any of our abilities that require energy. That should we should be able to do that a bit more regularly. Um, so this is what we we're, we're trying to do at the moment is find the black rock black black rock quarry. Um, the problem is every time I hear black rock, I just think of World of Warcraft. Um, okay, so we're going over there. And we're all the way over here. Can we? Can we? Oh, that's Black Rock Processing down there. So I'm guessing that's where we should be going. Uh, it's through that way. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, yeah. So we've still got Floaty Boys. I think this is the way we went before. I'm pretty sure this is where we went last time. And I think we were about to go down an elevator when we finished. Uh, we still can't go through there. I imagine that's probably where we'll end up coming out of. I think we checked all of this. 
Oh yeah, because there's lots of dead dudes. Yeah, loads of dead dudes. That's right. Arish wasn't kidding about that monster. Uh, so we might have to kill the monster again. Uh, oh, we can get through here though. I think it was. I think it's just this. There we go. Um, can we open this? Okay, we can open that from that side. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, so I think we might have to kill the monster again. Oh my god, it's so bright. You showed me the HRA when I first got here, and the machine that makes them. Yeah, I think potentially. Can you help me find a prison? Oh, actually, no, I know, maybe not. Because last time we came over to here and we had to do something with this. So maybe we don't have to kill the monster again. Yeah, no, because this is open, so we don't have to kill the monster again, so that's nice. Uh, and it was one that can turn invisible, which uh, is kind of kind of annoying, because, you know, fighting invisible things, not best. Not the best. Was there something in here? Oh, that's creepy. Can you imagine just, like, sitting at your desk doing your work, and all of a sudden this guy just, like, just floating in the, in the middle of the... Ugh, creepy. Uh, was there anything in here? Oh, I think we I think there was a thing on here, but I think we've picked that up already. And I think that's it. I think that's all that was in here. Okay then. Um, we watched the video and we picked up the stuff. Uh, and there's oh my god, there's there's lots of maths. I am not even going to attempt to work out what any of that means. But it's there, should anyone want to. But I don't. Okay. So we are on processing at the moment, and we go up to the quarry, or down to the quarry? I don't know. But we're gonna press the button and we're gonna find out, I guess. Everything here is crazy. Weird, but it feels Yeah, we are going right. Like how the world should be. I am in an infinite building leading to different dimensions and I never want to leave. Even with all the horror, I'm happy. Uh oh, speaking of horror. It feels sane. Or just the right kind of insane. <laughs> that looks so violent. That looks so violent. This is his head just goes. <laughs> hey. Some more materials. For crafting stuff if we need it. Right, so. Oh! Oh! I know where we are now! Because that's the room... We come into this room... Uh, and that's where I usually end up getting myself killed, is down there. And then you had to come up here and we had to put these yellow brick things in this to power it. Yeah, we've been in here. Okay. 
Okay, so this... Right, okay, gotcha, gotcha. I kind of know where we are now. I mean, I don't really. Considering the building can shift at any time. Right, so that's another elevator. Uh, which we don't want to use just yet. We want to go to here. Hey, control point. Let's take the control point, and then we've got somewhere to fast travel to and from, which is always nice. Okay. Right, so there's a dude. And there's a dude, there's several dudes. Oh, so this is where, this is the big old uh, energy power source thing is. Right. That's the barricade and there's the dudes down there with the, defending the barricade. Okay. See you. Oh, Jesus. Actually hit him once yet? Come on, friend. Though. There we go. You get a killing blow. <laughs> well done. Before your head explodes. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna guess that we have to go that way. But let's have a little look around, because you never know what you're gonna find. What's this? What's this? What's this? There's something in the air. What's this? Extra health. Uh, no, I think we're good. I think we're good. What's the, what is that one? 16%? That one's tw Well, that's different. That one's 21%. No, we don't need that one. Let's, let's get rid of that one. Don't need that. Uh, we've got new... New weapon mods, anything better than what I currently have? Nothing. Let's get rid of that one. That one is 12%. I currently have 12%. That one's 10%. Let's get rid of that one then. And I guess we'll get rid of this one too, because we don't need the one of the same. So. I don't think I have any extra slots on this one yet. Okay. Uh, right. What was it we just picked up? Let's have a look. I really like this, the fact that they have this unread feature. I would not be able to find anything if I didn't. Okay. The NSC was designed by order of Deputy Chief Trench. Deputy Chief Trench. Shortly before he became director. Oh, okay. Uh, the container provides a safe method of extraction of some things, excess energy output while acting as a humane way to house him. Oh, sarcophagus container. Oh, okay. So there's a, a person inside something 
that puts out energy. The coolant pumps keep the container and its inhabitant, I guess, from overheating while the energy is siphoned. The energy is then conducted to the converters where it is rendered into a something through the use of turbine generators. The electricity produced powers the entire bureau, making us completely self-sufficient and effectively invisible on the New York City grid. After NSC 01's disappearance by some unknown manifestation of so-and-so's power, the occupant was restrained and a second model was built NSC 02, possesses built-in spatial anchors that are designed to prevent any translocative effect from its occupant. Oh. Right. So is that what this is then? Is that a person, is that the person, is that the person inside? Internal movement detected. All right, let's do this. So, okay, so we can go back to the control point and go to where we need to go to. But, so there's a, there's, it looks like there's a, a dude inside, inside here that's, that's, that gives off power that they are using to power this entire building. Which is nuts. Is this where we were supposed to be going? This is not where we were supposed to be going. Where is the... Where is the control room? Have I gone... Oh no, that is, that is where we're supposed to be going. But I was trying to find the control point. Which is the other way. Control points over there somewhere. Um, so there's a good chance that the the person that we've been looking for all this time, Dylan, this character's brother, is inside that thing. Could be, could be that he's the the one that's uh, that's got the problems. Um, right. So we need four for that one. Three for that one. Three for that one. Two for that one, two for that one. Shield strength, I haven't really been using it. It might be worth getting just so that I can get to this bit. Sure, let's get it. There we go. Um, okay, fast traveling to research ritual division. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if we can not die this time. It's been it's been pretty it's been pretty tough. Uh, previously, we've been getting to these points and then uh, failing, either because we die or because we're supposed to keep other people alive and it hasn't worked. Um, the last one we did, it was going great, and then the uh, the monsters that explode when they die spawned. Oh.
did it. We did one. We did a thing. Did they did they actually drop anything or no, no, I don't think they did. That's fine. That's fine. But we did it. Okay, I'm quite proud of myself. That was a pretty straightforward, easy, easy thing. It was like just kill these three dudes. It's like, okay. Right. We were going to Black Rock. Where is that? Where where is that? The Atlas Chamber is probably the closest one. No, we went past that. We went past that. That one? That one. That's the one we want. Okay. But I'm glad we did it at least, because, you know, the last few have been just a mess. I do kind of feel like the game was just like, hey, by the way, these are things you can do. Uh, we'll give you a really easy one to do now in comparison to the really hard ones you've had to do so far. Ugh. Right. right, that was where we came in. So we need to go across here and then out the other side. So yeah. So uh, we asked Marshall about, or we wanted to ask Marshall uh, about what she knows about this place. Um, specifically, she, we, want, we want to know about um, Dylan, Jesse's uh, Jesse's brother. Um, there is a, a chance that he is located inside this and is the power source for this entire building. That's a possibility. Um, but also, maybe not. Also, could be something entirely different. Um, so I guess we'll wait and see. We shall wait and see. I'm hoping that all will be revealed. Um, I do, I do know that sometimes in some of these in these sorts of games, sometimes nothing is revealed, and you end up sort of feeling a bit. Like, oh, where, well, what happened about this and what happens about that? So I'm hoping that things will be revealed and not necessarily make sense, but at least have an answer of some description. There's not been a single person in one of these. I keep expecting there to be people like hiding in here away from the hiss. But there never is. There's never anyone in there. Elevator's broken. Gotta get down the old-fashioned way. Cool. Why are these lights so blindingly bright? I don't understand. So, I think we learned last time about these things. Yeah, we learned about these things, which are made of black rock, and black rock is basically like uh, lead for the paranatural. So rather than having like a lead-lined box for like radiation, you'd have a, you'd have it in a black rock-lined box uh, to um, to stop any. Stop any kind of heebie jeebie stuff. Oh, careful. That's a long way down. Okay, if I do fall though, I have to remember to do a little. Uh, a little dodge or charge thing at the end to try not to take any damage. really hope that I can get back up again. Any dudes? No. I thought I heard a dude. Is 
there's definitely dudes down there because it's all orange. And I can hear I can hear something. I can definitely hear something. I just don't see it. But then it could be one of the invisi boys. Ah, there it is. I see it. Yeah, I can make that noise too. Still, we're still going down. We are still going down. Okay. Still going down. Couple of fragile boxes. Be my friend, 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 move out the way. worry about? I'm guessing not. Let's cleanse this control point. Let's put this building back together. There we go. It seems slightly bizarre to me that the quarry is, is much higher up in the building and not below the building but then I guess that kind of makes sense for this for this place the fact that it has a, a quarry in it at all is uh, is unusual because you know it's a building but the fact that the quarry is uh, at the top of the building or near the not necessarily at the top of the building, but it's above most everything else that we've come up uh, with so far. at my enemies. Oh, well I would. You would if you didn't just run straight into my line of fire.
Will you be my friend? Will you be my friend. Head pop. <laughs> I do enjoy that. I do enjoy that little head pop. Um, I probably should. What I do. Well, I'm glad they're all. All the Whisper Boys are in town. That's that's always good. Whisper Boys in town. The Whisper Boys in town. No, don't do. Don't do that. Okay, any any things that we need to look at, any things we need to read, there's lots of different routes here. Uh, and I don't know if it makes any difference which way we go. So I'm gonna go left. Because it's got a wiggly a wiggly wiggle. Oh my god, why is it so bright? Can't turn it off, no matter how much we shoot it. Cool. We'll just make it flicker, because that's much better. Okay, so that just brings us back to here. That's fine. Uh, okay, what if we go this way? Apart from a bunch of whisper boys. Aha! A thing! Oh Jesus. Nope. Can't destroy it. Hopefully it will stay down there, and uh, right, let's have a little read then of what that thing was that we've got. Quarry equipment order. We need additional diamond blades ASAP. Continuous rim this time to get the clean cut research once. This black rock shit is tough. We're going through. We're going through blades like we're made of the damn things. The dimensions of these slabs of black rock they want are outrageous. For all the grief they're causing me, these fire breaks better fucking work a treat. Go ahead and double the last order. Well, I mean, they did, and uh, they also they didn't. So, so there you go. Um, they kind of worked in some places, uh, but they also didn't work at all because the hiss uh, have still got in and uh, are still infecting people and, and fucking shut so oh my god it's you too hi <laughs> your icon extension thing is over your face it is I, I don't know how to change that that's probably that's oh I see uh, to be fair it's probably it's probably fine that it goes over my face, honestly, because um, you know, I mean, it's just it's, it's just my face, isn't it? It's like, <laughs> but how are you guys doing? How are you doing, Lunaris and its Zaf? How you how you doing? Are you good? What do you mean? Uh -uh. Have I got to go past the big wibbly thing? Oh man, who's good? Good. I um uh, I started a bit late on my stream today. Uh, I had to go and take my sister dog for a walk uh, this afternoon, um, so everything kind of got put back a, an hour and a half or so, two hours probably. Um, so his name's Ted, and uh, he's very small. Yeah, yeah, she did. 
he, yeah, his name's Ted. He's very small, um, and uh, he hasn't been out for a long time because um, my niece, who lives with my sister, got tested positive for COVID, so the whole household has had to quarantine. And so they haven't been able to take Ted out for walks. Um, so I was like, okay, well, in that case then, I'm going to take him for a really long walk. So we we probably went we probably we probably went for about three miles. <laughs> Poor thing, he's only small. He's only he's only like uh, like this this sort of size. Um, and then. <laughs> After, after I, I dropped him off, I dropped him off, and within about 10, 20 minutes, uh, I got this picture from my from my sister. <laughs> he just passed out. He was so tired. He was like, <laughs> and then, uh, and then my niece sent me a picture as well of him. <laughs> just, <laughs> just. Like on his back, just snoring his head off. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, we had a good time. Uh, but as a result, it meant that uh, you know, um, it meant that I had to do everything else. Uh, she's she's. I mean, she she wasn't really suffering with any symptoms or anything. Um, my her, her boyfriend got it. Uh, he was doing some jury du duty, uh, from what I understand, and somebody else in the jury got it. And so they've had to, and then he got it, and then one of the other jury members got it. And so they've basically had to postpone the trial because, like, like three people of the jury have tested positive. Um, so, uh, obviously he didn't realise at first that he had it until he got told that he needed to get tested because uh, they had to test the entire uh, the entire jury after they found out that one of them had had it um, and my, my niece uh, is a nurse uh, like a trainee student nurse thing uh, so she's been working a lot of the wards the COVID wards uh, no, no, neither of them had any symptoms um, so she's not been able to go into work um, for, obviously um, and because they've been staying at my sister's it meant that my sister and my her fiance uh, haven't been able to leave the house either they've been tested negative so it seems like they're okay and none of them are showing any real symptoms I think my niece had a bit of a, a sniffle like a bit of a cold kind of cough thing but it was like it was a sort of cold cough thing that you kind of expect people to get around November, you know, like it wasn't anything major. Um, so she's just been resting up, uh, making sure she like gets plenty of water and yeah, like people get little colds and sniffles and stuff um, around this time of year anyway. Um, although so far, touch wood, I have not been ill once this year. I'm touching. I'm touching wood just to make sure. Like I've not been ill once this year, and I can, I can, almost put it, almost guarantee that it's down to the fact that uh, I've barely been out of the house. <laughs> well, maybe, 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 maybe. It's fine. Um, right. I'm confused. Where? Right. We're going this way. Uh, so yeah, so we'll we'll see we'll see how that goes. I think I I think I've got to do a bit of platforming here. Whoa, uh, that way, and then this way. Oh, not what I expected. No. You wouldn't really expect to see that sort of thing inside a building. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, those sorts of things, uh, to be honest, most of the time, those sorts of things are just down to, like, 
lack of lack of sleep more than anything else. It, it is in, in my case anyway. It's usually it's usually if I'm feeling a bit run down because I've not been sleeping properly, that's when I'm most likely to get sick. Um, that's 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 for me anyway. That's 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 usually the case. Uh, I have literally no idea where I'm going and. How is there an outside? How are there stars on the inside of this building? <sighs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe you did. And you just didn't realise that that's what it was. Uh, I imagine a lot of like doctors and stuff probably wouldn't have realised that that's what it was either. Right, we can now... We can, we've unlocked that. Oh, there's a thing. We can do a thing. And no smoking reminder. Oh, is, is it going to be because things are highly flammable? Yeah. So, I mean, that sounds like it could have been COVID and you just didn't realise that you had it. Um, yeah, quite possibly. Um, I mean, it's hard to know for sure. But, yeah. Right, what's this say? All Bureau personnel are reminded to kindly not smoke in the quarry. Even though the quarry area is technically an outdoor space, it is still part of the Bureau and therefore no smoking rule does apply. Not only is it considerate towards your fellow employees to refrain from inflicting the harm of secondhand smoke, it is also prudent to avoid any fire risk of gas fires, unforeseen threshold reactions and possible creation of altered receptacles under no... Under no circumstances should cigarette butts be left in the quarry. Thank you for your understanding. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, that's, it, it's, it's like, it's an, it's outdoors, but it's also indoors. Oh, really? Oh, I'm not doing that one now. I'm not even anywhere near a control point. You're going to have to stick it, I'm afraid. Stick your bureau alert. Oh, we've got dudes. Well, singular, dude singular. We have a single dude over there. Yeah, I think you kind of have to, uh, really. I think it can be quite easy to 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 kind of fall in the trap of oh woe is me kind of thinking, but I, I just don't see that that's, uh, that can be helpful in those situations. Where I have literally no idea where I'm supposed to be going. Is there anything up here that I'm supposed to be... No, this is just a... Oh. Oh. Oh man, I really wish there were... I'd... Maybe maybe I get a double jump at some point. Maybe that's the thing that I get. I don't know. If I had a double jump, I'd be able to get to the places. And I could go and get the rubber duck. Okay, so we've got a little power battery thing there. Activate the explosives to excavate the black rock prism. Okay. Oh, that's what that is then. Okay. We've got a dude there. A dude there. One left. Where are you? There we go. Oh shit. That, that's 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 more than one left. Hey, can I be my friend? Can you be my friend? Be my friend. <laughs> oh, we got. Whoa! Ow! So you can play that game. You
Right, where is the orb? Because the orb is still up. There is the orb. And if the orb is still up, it means I can't get rid of these guys. Finding the motivation to tidy your room. Yeah, I know that feeling. But I always feel better after I've done it. Always. The trick is to not try and do all of it in one go. The trick... Oh, where the fuck am I now? Um, yeah, so the trick is not to do all of it in one go. I would do some of it. Like select a, a section of the room and go, I'm just going to tidy this bit today. And then if you feel like doing more, if you feel like doing more after that, then do more after that. You go full ham on your room? Uh, okay. Well, yeah. I mean, some people are. But some people are just like, ugh. The problem I have is that my room is tiny, and I have a lot of stuff from uh, from when I was living uh, living alone, and uh, I had a lot more space. And now I have to try and cram it all into one very very small room, uh, which obviously doesn't really work. <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> Took his head clean off. Right. Orb. There we go. Right, that's one of them down. Don't kill me! There we go. 
Yeah, he's got to have ham. He's just got to lay like very thin slices of ham over everything that he owns. That's why he always smells a bit meaty. And why he can never date a vegetarian. I think that's right. That sounds, that sounds about right to me. Ham. Just really, really loves ham. Uh, are there any more battery boys down here? Battery boys. Oh, yeah. pick up just then. Quarry incident. During my weekly ins uh, safety inspection of the quarry threshold, I discovered the entire crew in a state of... Uh, the whole team was... Uh, aligned and staring in a uniform direction, the city in the distance. Despite my most vocal efforts to gain their attention, they remained... Uh, for more than 12 minutes until I had to resort to literally poking them. Afterwards, they were dazed and could not provide any rationale for their behaviour or any specific memories of engaging in it. My official recommendation for any crew working in a threshold area is to either shorten the length of their shifts or to carry out mandatory psychological evaluations on a weekly basis, or preferably both. And maybe we should order another expedition to the city. Wait a second. The city? Is there a city in this building as well? What the f this game is bananas. B A N A N A S. So we did all of that just to get this one, this one chunk. And there it is, right where you led me. The HRAs, the prisms, they need something to you. I need to get this prism to Marshall before it's too late. HRAs, then Dylan. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Uh, is there anything up here? I don't know. Kind of want to find out where these things lead, but I don't think I can get up there. I don't think I can jump high enough. I can get quite high, but not high enough. I don't think I could jump up there. No, I can't. I can he do it? Oh, maybe I can do that though. Ooh. Ooh. That's it. And then we jump up there, and then. <gasps> yeah, I did it. I did it. I did it. Look at me. Oh, there's a tent. Tents, plural. Hey, and we found a thing. Yeah. Ooh. That looked like it might be a good one. What's this one? Oh. Energy recovery speed, 41%. Oh, it's not quite as good as the one we have. Oh, okay. That's fine. That is probably one that we want to get at some point. I'm not sure it's one I want now, but I think when I get another slot, that's going to be going in it because that reduces the, the time it takes to actually seize someone and make them my friend. Uh, 
and uh, any anything that reduces the the speed in which uh, it takes for someone to be my friend is is, is a good thing. What's this one? Projectile spread? No, I don't want that. I don't. I don't really care about that. Um, what is it? Fourteen. I need to look at. No, that's just. Okay. Okay, so now that I'm here, can I get up anywhere else? Maybe. Maybe we can. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be doing this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. What does that say? Restricted area. Okay. Oh, I think this is the way that I'm supposed to be going. Which is convenient, because I just kind of started exploring and ended up going this way, so... It does seem a bit weird that there are tents here, though. Oh, shit. There's another... Another wiggly boy. Wiggly boy is coming to town. How do I get in there? How do I get in there? Do I have to... I go up here and up here. Can I? No. Nope. That ain't gonna work either. Okay, so. No. Haha! -ha! Don't know if that was the way I was supposed to do it, but that's the way I did it. I'm sticking to it. Oh, you're not gonna let me in. Right, map. Map. Map doesn't help. Cool. Thanks for the help, map. Really useful, map. Invisible walls? No, tell me, tell me it ain't so. I've spent all this time getting up here and now invisible walls. Ah, oh, boo. Boo, invisible walls. Invisible walls are the worst. I am pretty high up though. Oh, there's a thing. Okay, I'm gonna have a quick explore up here and make sure there's nothing actually here. Hello? Knock knock. Anyone home? Okay. So we need to get down there without killing ourselves. If at all possible. <laughs> Right, and then we jump from here to there, to there, and then over to there. Easy, right? Whoa. I hate platforming ah, in these ah, games. Yes, I need to go back up there.
Oh, Jesus. Careful. You're making a right mess down there, sir. An absolute mess. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure this is really where I want to be. Oh boy. Oh boy. Now, I think I'm going to try and get back again. Saved, I saved myself from taking lots of damage. And I've got all this stuff to heal up on, so... It's not the end of the world. Right, let's go away from the Wiggly Boys. Because we can't, we can't damage the Wiggly Boys. to like lure the wiggly boys down here. Wait. Interest you in, in coming down here? Doesn't actually seem to be moving. That one does. Oh, now it moves. Now it moves. Yo, Zaf and, and Luna, if you're still here, uh, are you planning on streaming tonight? Are you planning on doing the thing at any point? Man, this elevator seems to be going on for ages. Back to central executive. Oh, okay. Whoa! Shit.
anymore. Nope. Don't think so. Well, that's a little health blips. Which uh, I'm not needing so much at the moment. Which is good. I'm actually remembering to like take cover and stuff. I maybe should have taken the. Uh, maybe should have taken the uh, control point and fast traveled. Rather than getting in the elevator and coming down here. But. When you're running. This control point. Uh, right, so that's where we are, and we want to go to Central Executive. Cool. Cool. That's good. What time is it? How long have I been live? Oh, an hour and eleven minutes. Uh, I must admit, the uh, the new kind of create a dashboard thing out on Twitch is much better than anything they used to have. I must I must admit, it is uh, it is better than than what they used to have. So that's good, at least. That is one one good thing that they they have done since I last streamed. Uh, okay. Ah, there you are. Pope wanted to compile all of Darling's data entries from the past month. She wants us to crack Darling's personal logs. They'll crucify us if he finds out. Who does she think she is, authorizing that kind of data breach? She must think he's hiding something. And I agree. The HREs alone are proof Darling knew more than he let on. Yeah. You're probably right there. He probably does. Right, here you go. I had to take a detour into the quarry, but I found plenty. Here. We will start HRA production immediately. I promised I'd tell you about Dylan once you helped us. This is it? She knows. Seventeen years I've waited. Your brother is here. He was once known as Prime Candidate Six, codenamed P6. Ah. We brought him here after the ordinary event. He was groomed to be the future director. He had talents far beyond any other candidate in the program. Of course he did. We found you together. We share a bond. Are you with him now? So you kidnapped him. We took him in. Your parents vanished along with every other adult in Ordinary. Eventually, his power changed him. There were casualties. He wasn't fit to be the director. Did you know about this? Is this why you didn't bring me here sooner? Were you keeping me away? Where is Dylan? He's kept in the containment sector, in the Panopticon. My brother. I thought we were the same. What if we are? I'm going. Now. I expected as much. I need to go check on something. Something I cannot let the Hiss find. It shouldn't take long, but you must watch the Bureau while I'm gone. And remember, Dylan is dangerous. Do not let him out, Director Faden. How do I make her stop calling me that? I'm not here for them. Nothing simple here. These people took my brother, but they've accepted me without question. Are they my enemies or my friends? Well, they're neither. I need to see Dylan. I need to know. I wish you could tell me what you know, explain things. Just stay with me, okay? I could use a friend right now. Cool. It's ridiculous. 
hopes grasping at straws. Why? Right, so we've got three new points. Uh, I'm not worried about melee damage because I rarely use it. Um, extra launch damage. Launch basic enemies when their health is low. That could be cool. Um, the seize duration is not too important, but being able to seize an additional enemy could be quite useful. Oh, but we also said about this, didn't we? I've only got three points, though. So, uh, so I'm going to take this. So I can launch basic enemies. And then... And then nothing. Because I don't have enough. I don't have enough points. Uh, I don't have enough points to do anything else. So... There we go. That's fine. That's fine. If this is a frequency, then why do I have any outfits? Is that a thing I have? No. Okay. It would explain the Think about it. Uh, right, so, missions. Uh, oh, we can still do this one. Uh, research, pers research personal protection goes to parapsychology. Well, let's do that before we do anything else. Let's go to parapsychology. Boop. Boop. Might as well. A few extra points of whatever I don't even know few extra stuffs um, can't hurt unless I die in which case it can it can hurt a lot and that's likely to happen it's very likely to happen in fact okay where do we nope where do we go from here forwards That way. <laughs> the opposite of forwards. and table that one guy and then shoot him a lot and hide behind here and pick up a cupboard throw that at him throw this up throw that at him shoot him a lot more okay he's gone Do 
we do it? No. No? They all died again. Man. These these dudes that are supposed to be uh, like trained professional military people, they're not very good. They kind of stand out in the open and they just get shot a lot. I think we've, we've failed almost all of them because they're all pretty rubbish. Hey, at least I didn't die this time. So there is that, I guess. Any any drops though? They dropped any any loots of any description? I don't think they have. Or if they have, I picked them up already. Oh well. Never mind. I'll continue on, man. Just kick all this stuff across the floor. Okay, so we are going to containment. Containment. Fast travel. Uh, where the fuck is that? Containment. How do we even get there? Oh, I guess if we go back to Central Executive, we can use the elevator. Because that's how elevators work. They take you places. Most of the time. That's your Irish man. How are there still fireworks going off? How? <laughs> oh my god. It's ridiculous. We had so many days of fireworks and now more fireworks. Okay. So we want to go to containment. There it is. I'm beginning to understand how getting around works in this uh, in this game. It does. It still seems bizarre to me that that quarry was like at the top of the of, of the levels that we've been to so far, or at least that's how it seems. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's like part way between. I don't know. I'm not even sure. Oh, okay, yeah, we, we were here earlier. We were here before, right? Like a really long time ago. Like, I think it was the end of the second... End of the second stream I was here. And I was like, ooh, this looks spooky. Uh, and then <laughs> and left. <laughs> Can we turn this on? No? Explody boys are now floating explody boys. Be my friend, be my friend, be my friend. Okay, 
I'll, I'll have a little read of what we picked up in just a sec. I just want to have a little look around in case there's any other bits and pieces that we need to read uh, as well. I don't think there is in this immediate area because of the fighting and stuff, but sometimes there is. Oh my god, the, the whispering and muttering and stuff. It makes you really un uneasy. Hmm. Okay. This feels relatively safe. Right, let's have a little read of... Uh, oh my god, we've got a new, a new thing. The crafting stuff. A new hotline. New hotline. Every time. So bright. Yeah, I know that already. Okay, well that was of no no use. Okay, what's this? While altered items and objects of power may seem similar at first, it's important to note some very key distinctions. Firstly, objects of power grant power utilitarian abilities. Secondly, objects of power translocate anyone who makes physical contact to the astral plane. This is widely believed to be due to the boards. Could be the boards affiliation with the objects of power. Not every individual is allowed in the astral plane, which indicates the board evaluates who can or cannot enter. It could be there could be the board because they that's where they are. Thirdly, uh, and this is not always the case, objects of power are much more paranaturally something than altered items. Not sure what that one could be. Uh, looking at the specific criteria that defines an object of power, it is no wonder they are notably rarer than altered items. In fact, we have something altered items for every object of power contained within various. So it could be we could we have five altered items for every one object of power. Um, potentially, it could be it could be any number really. Uh, let's check out the mods just in case we've got any new ones. I can't believe I still haven't got a better reload speed mod yet. It's 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 crazy to me that I don't have a new reload speed mod. It's strange. I should have one, but I do not. Um, I could try and craft some some. Um, but you never know what you're going to get. And so you might end up just with a load of trash. What's this? Ooh. Reminder. This week, any documents that suddenly appear pink, light nice red, or any shade in between must be incinerated immediately. Failure to do so will result in termination and possible bodily harm. Thank you for your attention. Uh, yeah, nice, nice try coming in and trying to post links. Good, good job. You can you can take that uh, and you can try somewhere else. But it ain't gonna work in here. There's always one, and they always try it every stream. Uh, I'm going to try and post a link. And it never works. Wait, is there anything this side? We have two doors. They both go through to the same area. Oh, we got more fighting, boys. It's time to put your fighting pants on. Uh, uh, looks like a control point as well. Uh, let's, let's hit him with all that. Be my friend. Be my friend. What? What? Okay, well, the being my friend thing didn't really work. Oh, fuck me. 
could hear the, the, the rockets coming in, and I just couldn't see where they were coming from. And I thought at the end there, I was going to be able to like grab one of them and throw it back again. But no, I picked up the, the, the chair thing instead. <sighs> That's fine. I do like this red and black thing, though. It's kind of cool. I like it. Red and black are like my favorite colors. The combo. So. Oh, okay, we're, we're fighting here again. Okay. Hey, my friend. Stop shooting me. Jesus. Okay. I mean, I like I like the red and black. I like the red and black. I don't like it that much that I want to just keep dying constantly just so I can see it, though. Yeah. Um, cool. Good. Yeah. Let's try that again, shall we? I didn't expect them to be there this time because uh, I thought they would already be my friend, be my friend, be my friend, be my friend, be my friend. Be my friend. <laughs> that rocket almost hit me. It almost hit me. That rocket almost hit me. I guess you'll just wait and your head will pop off in a second. There we go. Cool. Uh, pretty sure we got a team from in here. But just in case we didn't. Let's have another quick nosy around. Oh, these are beds? And these look really uncomfortable. And I can't even get on the top bunk. Shoot the bad guys. <laughs> I got your laser that time, bucko. Oh, you lazy rocket. Done. 
Just need to cleanse the control point. I'm always super paranoid that I'm going to come here and try and do this and then a whole bunch of bad dudes are going to turn up and try and kill me. But I think that's just me being paranoid. Oh, this is much nicer. Cool. Okay. Man, it's a bit of trash this place, didn't we? Right, so we came in from up here. Let's go and have a little look up here and see if there's anything in these areas. Uh, we have gents. Same as usual, same thing. Copy and paste. Men's toilets. What else we got up here? Anything? We do have we do have this, so we can get uh, another weapon mod for something that we don't actually have yet. That's fine. What we got in here? Another one. One day I'm gonna open one of these things, and there's actually gonna be people in here, and I'm gonna be like, "Oh my God, there's people in here." one's not as good as the one I have. Uh, I've got this one and this one. 34, 38. Let's get rid of that one. 12, 14. Let's get rid of that one. Let's get rid of that one. And we can get rid of these two. Problem is, if you don't get rid of, uh, if you don't get rid of them, you eventually start getting to a point where you don't pick them up anymore because you've run out of space. Right? Do we still not have? No, no, we still don't. We still don't have. Uh, we still don't have any uh, reload speed mods. the mechanical room, which we can't go in, for whatever reason. Mannequin supplement. Hold up. Oh, we finished that one. Oh, that's nice. Oh yeah, there was the thing about the pink documents. Uh, the item was last owned by Madame something or other, an operatic performer from Berlin. After her career ended in a public scandal, she relocated to something, Maine. Well, Maine's in New York, isn't it? No. I can't remember. So you redact one part of it, but you don't redact the other? Okay, well we can find out. I'll just Google it real quick. Just real, Google it real quick. There we go. Uh, um, I know it's, I know it's in the United States somewhere. <laughs> oh, Maine is the state. So there's, it'll be a place in Maine. So Maine, Maine is the state, right? Okay, I didn't realize it was a state. Uh, it's near. Uh, it is kind of. It is on the east east coast, but it's not New York. There's uh, some other states in between. Huh. There you go. There you go. I 
I did not know that. I've learned something new. Okay, so she relocated to Maine for reasons unknown. With her came the trappings of her old life, including this item. This was a, a mannequin. Okay. Locals report that she rarely left home in the short years she spent in this place in Maine. And after her death, caused by the mannequin, I guess. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, it's redacted, so it's impossible to know. Uh, the state held a public auction of her belongings, seeing as she had no known relatives. Various conflicting first-hand reports exist, but testimonies provided by witnesses of the event do contain some common elements. Most every witness saw numerous mannequins break through the house's windows, tumbling outside. Some witnesses report bright lights, some report high-pitched singing. These are unverified. Numerous civilians inside the house at the time of the incident were hospitalised for various injuries. Two were crushed to death. Jesus. Agents were dispatched upon seeing an article regarding these events during the Bureau's daily scans of national periodicals. The item was quickly identified and brought to the Bureau. Huh. Yeah, hmm. my tea's gone cold. Uh, okay, well that's... I mean, mannequins are kind of spooky already, so more spooky mannequins. Oh, Jesus Christ! Fuck you! Oh, there's a sniper in there as well. Jesus, we got any more? Oh, good, we got we got flying boys. Right, I need to come down here and get some health back. Are these the, the exploding boys? Be my friend, be my friend. Fuck. Oh, it's so annoying because it's so difficult to know whether or not uh, you actually. It's actually working when you try and make someone a friend. So sometimes I start pressing it and I'm not sure if it's taken and then I let go and then I start pressing it again. That was kind of bullshit though, like, huh, is there someone out here? Rocket in the face. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, I guess there is. Okay, should we go through here? I'm not really sure where we're supposed to be going right now. Hello there. Hey, hello there. Change the change your weapon, you bell end. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dad. Whoa. Where is the orb? There's an orb up there. Oh man, I can't get that orb. It's got people defending it. I can't get to that orb. Um, maybe... Ah! Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna run away. Take cover! Take cover!
Right, sorry about that. Tell people you're streaming so that they, and then they say, okay, I won't disturb you. And then they do exactly that. It's like, no, that's not how this works. Oh, come on. Where's it gone now? Was gone. Be my friend, be my friend, be my friend, be my friend. Okay, good. So you go over there and turn the game. Jesus. Those rockets. Are we done? Is that the sound of being done? I guess so. Whew. Hello there. Um, are you, uh, any of you planning on streaming later? Because if you are, then I might be able to, like, do a little raidy raid, maybe, or a little hosty host. If you, if you are. Man, where the fuck am I going? But let me know. Oh, I've been in here. Oh my god, I've got to go all the way up there? <laughs> I'm nowhere near there. <laughs> uh, okay. Cool. I'm just like wandering around. Right, oh, this is, right, so this is where we got the information about the mannequin. Don't we, oh my god, we completely fucked this area up, haven't we? Um, so we want to, we want to be going this way. Right, yeah. And then, last time we came in here, uh, we had a big old fight. Uh, we want to go this way. I think. Have we been over this way? Have we explored this area? I think. Maybe we have. I don't see anything down there that we might want to pick up, so. Yeah, because that's the gents. Yeah, we have been this way. Okay, that's fine. Okay. In that case, then, let's go. A wall of honor. In memory of the heroic agents who gave their lives to forces unknown and unknown for the protection and greater knowledge of all mankind. Oh, is this the is this the mold? Which way do we want to go? Does it matter? I mean, no, not really. Medical wing. Just in case you weren't sure. Oh. Hey, you're trash. <laughs> and you. You can be my friend now. Oh, that's quite useful. We've got more dudes.
<laughs> Actually, I'm not sure I want to go in there after seeing what's on the floor. Right, what's, oh, hang on, what's that saying? Examination room. Nothing too, you know, nothing too crazy in here. Uh, and what's this? This is also an examination room. Someone's left the fridge door open. Oh my god! What are you doing? It's not even plugged in. It's not even plugged in. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. They left the door open. It's not plugged in. Yeah, we are getting a lot of these. Uh, launch efficiency. Oh, launch efficiency module that's better than the one that we have. Is it? It is. Let's take it then. Nice. I bet we still don't have uh, one of these, do we? Nope. That one's pretty rubbish. Uh, right, so we. I thought we had access to level 6. Do we not have access? That's not the right button. Do we not have access to level 6? I don't. I don't know. No, we are only level 5. Right. Right. One of these days, there's actually going to be someone in here. Or not. Or maybe there isn't. Maybe there isn't going to be anyone in here. We still, we still can't get through there. Uh, what? What are you? Be my friend, weird creature. Ah! Friend! Friend, go get the go get them! Friend! Friend! <laughs> I'm just throwing their bodies around. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Oh, they're like clickers from Last of Us. Oh, I don't, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Where did they even come from? Oh, they probably just came through there, didn't they? Oh. Ah! What? 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 Oh my God! What's hitting me? Oh, they, are they hitting me? Jesus Christ! Okay, let's go back in here and pick up this health that I left on the floor here. And also, let's pick up this thing that I came in here for in the first place. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. What is that? Is it? Is there something throwing stuff at me? I can't... I can't tell. Or is it just this mold stuff? Ah! Fuck. Jesus, I 
I'm so dead. Oh my god. I'm so hurt. I don't like it. It's a bit spoopy. I don't like the fungus people. The fungus people are weird and scary. No more fungus people, please. I think we've got past the fungus people. Whew. Do not like the fungus people. Panopticon, that's where we want to go. We're headed the right direction at least. Cool. Maybe we'll find some really useful information up here. Or, or not. Maybe we won't find anything in information in there at all. Anything? Nothing? Really? Oh my god. Why would someone use green very light green pen on a, a, a whiteboard. Like, I can't read that. Feels important. An urgent vision. Writing this down so I don't forget. Saw this dream when I fell asleep during Dr. Darling's presentation. Food poisoning? I ate a mushroom salad for lunch. Do not wipe this as a warning. I saw, number one, an inverted black pyramid. The board, the actual plane. Then, a red pyramid appeared underneath. What's that? It felt scary and bad news. Okay, number two. They moved to be on top of each other, like elevator lights going up. Is this the sector elevator? Uh, then, they connected. Docked. Oh, oh shit. It's an hourglass. A doomsday clock. It started flashing wildly. The sand is leaving down oh no felt terrible fuck 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 <laughs> now it's all down and the red on top this can't happen we must stop this from happening they ruled us now i woke up screaming this is a warning cool well that sounds like a, a fun a fun time it doesn't sound like Right, we've got more whispery floaty boys. Cool, okay. Oh, that's that's always reassuring when you've got a bunch of dead dudes. That's that's a fun time. Office rooms, just in case you weren't sure what these were. These are office rooms. We'll uh, we'll have a read of that in a sec. Let's see what else we've got in here. Anything on this whiteboard? No, nothing. Uh, and then we got what's this? Command room. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Let's go and have a look in here. Oh, this does look like a command room. All right, let's have a little read. Let's have a little read. Let's have a look at our mods and stuff that we've picked up. See if we've got anything good. Is that one better than the one that we have? No. Let's get rid of that then. Don't want that. We have this one, and we have this one. Let's get rid of that. Any others? 
questions that we need to go across? Yeah, no worries, man. No worries. Um, are you, are you, or uh, you or Lunaris? Are you planning on streaming at all tonight? Because um, if you are, then I, I can maybe come over and uh, drop a host at some point. Because I'm not going to be going for too much longer. Because I started a lot later than I would have liked, but you know. Everybody, <laughs> Robert. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Thank you very much for the raid. How you doing, buddy? Did you have a good stream? You were playing some Yu-Gi-Oh, I believe, uh, which is a, a game that I've never played, I've never seen, and I have no idea what it's about. But I hope you had a good. I hope you had a good stream. <laughs> I hope you had a good stream. Escape, hello there. Hi, my name is Matt. Uh, I'm currently doing a playthrough of Control, which is one of the most bonkers games I've ever played. Um, but also, really fun. Uh, uh, but yeah, it's one of these games where I'm just like, huh? What? Uh, so yeah, so if you've never played Control, um, that's what we're doing today. Uh, and yeah, it is bonkers. Um, but thank you, Robert, for the for the raid. That's very kind of you. I hope you had a good stream. Um, I don't know how much longer we're going to be going on for. May maybe another hour, maybe half an hour at least. I would imagine. Uh, but yeah, there's lots of. You finished the story. Okay, good. I didn't know there was one, <laughs> but I'm glad you did. <laughs> Uh, the stream is going is going all right, actually. Yes, it's going good. It's going good. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's it is. Uh, this game is is really confusing because there's lots of stuff that happens, and uh, quite often <laughs> I'm just like I don't know what's happening. Uh, for example, um, I don't know if you know anything about this game, but basically it's like it's kind of X Filesy, kind of. In a way uh, where there everything is a little bit unusual and a little bit odd, and there's like paranormal type things, but it's not so much uh, ghosts; it's more uh, other dimensions and uh, and objects that have paranatural powers, not supernatural. They're called paranatural. I don't quite know what the difference is between supernatural and paranatural, but that's what they call them. Yeah, yeah, kind of SCP. Yeah, it's got that kind of SCP kind of feel to it. Um, for example, uh, like you have objects of power that they refer to as oops, and I think this is one of them. We just found this piece of information. Um, so it says containment procedure no unique procedures required however contact should be limited as some report feeling disoriented after touching it it's just a globe right uh, item is handmade set in dark wood the item itself is lacquered hand painted spins freely on all axis while the continents and oceans are recognisably those of earth careful examination has revealed numerous redacted and other geographic conditions that do not exist on our planet one of these islands has a city marked on it named Tanrelio there are no signatures left by its maker. Physical contact renders subjects dizzy and disoriented, with some reporting a feeling of unfamiliarity with their surroundings. This effect seems to grow worse with prolonged contact, culminating in a sense of listlessness and depression. Suicide has been observed in redacted handlers. So I'm guessing like a few people uh, ended up killing themselves after being uh, in contact with it for a prolonged amount of time. So yeah, so there are elements of SCP about it, absolutely. Um, 
Uh, at one point, we uh, earlier in the game, um, earlier in the stream, even uh, we went to a quarry, but we went up in the elevator to get to the quarry, which seems a bit odd. Just you know, if you're going to have a quarry inside a building, which is a bit strange anyway, you would expect it to be on the like basement level, like as the lowest part of the of the. Of the building, but this one was not the case. We had to go up. We had to go up to get to it. Very strange. Very strange indeed. Uh, and yeah, and we and we've just been fighting some fungal people, which uh, I don't like because they're they're like clickers almost. Uh, but imagine uh, clickers that are covered in mold. From like the old uh, Last of Us, uh, the deceased was a something-year-old, something with no significant past medical history. The subject was brought in after being discovered in the active threshold in an early state of decay that is char char characteristically fungal-based in its appearance. Fungal boys. Uh, during autopsy, the cadaver's plural cavities were revealed to be entirely filled by the fungus known as the mold. To an extent that medical staff were forced to put on decontamination suits. The procedure was also hindered by anomalies such as the deceased's high body temperature and undulating torso muscles, presumably, but not pr provably, caused by trapped gases. Ugh. Uh, routine samples, as well as tissue samples requested by Dr. Underhill, were success successfully extracted. However, their rapid retrogression outside of the host body needs to be noted. Cause of death, mold ingestion. Lovely. Lovely mold boys. Oh, it's Dr. Darling again. August 4th, 1964. Can we get... Discovered the oldest house while investigating a suspected altered world event case in the New York City subway tunnels. The H has found their way up into the building. Once we became aware of it, it was there. For the rest of the population, it was hiding in plain sight, a, a slippery blind spot, seemingly discouraging observation. It's a, a place of power, an ongoing AWE of its own, seemingly adhering to its physical outer constraints and yet constantly breaking the known boundaries of reality. It's, it's unstable, shifting. Note. For more details on control points and the research and process to stabilize and secure the core sectors, refer to a separate presentation. After extensive research and investigation, the Bureau made the building its headquarters on November 13th, 1968. The Federal Bureau of Control was never out in the open. This, this was always an obfuscated, classified top secret operation. So imagine our surprise when the building's observation and resistant aspects began in some unquantifiable way to affect the Bureau as a whole. Huh. So yeah, so the building that we're in is called the Oldest House uh, and, the, uh, and the building itself was discovered, not built. So the, the building that we're in itself, you could say, was uh, was one of these SCP type things, um, which is cool, but also, huh? <laughs> Although to be fair, a lot of this game is very, huh? So, oh. Uh, Very loud. The, the floaty boys are very loud up here. Um, okay, where where the frick are we going? We need to go through there. We need to go through that way. P six is what the bureau calls Dylan. His cell's been breached. Oh, good. Because they just found him. 
Are you there with him? Can you protect him? So, yeah, so there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of stuff going on. Can we... I just want to get over it. Look at this. Um, yeah, so there's lots of stuff going on. Uh, a lot of it I don't really understand fully. Is that another one? Oh my god, it is. In fact, most of it I don't understand fully. But that's okay. Got another one. So many weapon rods. Um, let's have a quick check, just in case we've got any ones that are better than what I have. through here yeah. oh that's just going to take me back down again okay oh it's the light switch okay law of three applies again okay that was weird and we're back in the ocean view motel We don't have the key again. Okay, it looks. I was about to say it looks the same, but then I heard of someone screaming, and maybe, maybe not. Can we? Nope, can't get in there. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. This game this game just when you think that maybe that maybe just maybe it's not going to be weird for a bit. It totally is weird. This room's back to normal again. And now we get the key. Okay. That ladder is still outside. We can still see the pavement. Right? I mean, that's that's always been a constant. Last time we were in this motel, we could hear people outside saying that they wanted to go to a different motel. This room is still the same, from what I can tell. One. Three. It's been a long time since Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about him. What kind of man he'd grow up to be. Were things as hard for him as they were for me? Maybe in here. Hey, buddy. They were even harder. Wait, why have you got a little dinosaur thing next to your name? What is that? Why have you got this little, little, cute little dinosaur thing next to your name? <laughs> Where did you get that from? <laughs> is that, is that, oh, okay. Right, gotcha. 
Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a big fan of this GlitchCon thing, just because it's like, hey everyone, we've spent a huge amount of money doing this GlitchCon 2020, and everyone else is like, yeah, but have you fixed the DMCA stuff yet? GlitchCon 2020, everyone, look at it, isn't it shiny? Look at all the GlitchCon. Yeah, but, <clears throat> but have you fixed the fixed the DMCA stuff that everyone uh, that everyone has been complaining about for the last like two three weeks? Yeah, but GlitchCon, everyone. GlitchCon, look at look at all the, the money and stuff. What's going on with the earth? <laughs> yeah. <gasps> A new person. Look at this guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Golden cappers, everyone. Look, golden cappers. <laughs> yeah, but. But people are, are, are getting like people are deleting their vods and still getting DMCA's on those vods, even though they don't exist. <laughs> yeah, but like, it's got it's still shiny. <clears throat> That's basically what's happening right now. That's basically what's happening right now. Uh, yeah. Right. Are you wearing an HRA? Oh, you are. Okay, it's just underneath your jacket. Oh, hello. <laughs> Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? Right. Uh, well, okay. Hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but... You're the director, so here we go. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all altered I items. I don't have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there, and it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV, it's, uh, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so uh, just do that. Here, I'll get the door for you. <laughs> and please, ma'am, call me Fred. Thanks, Langston. <laughs> <laughs> call me Fred. I told Salvador it was dangerous. Yeah, I'm not, no. gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Why listen to Langston? I'm just a Panopticon supervisor. Was that thermos procedures? What? Oh my god, is the thermos a, a, an object of power? The oh dear diner coffee thermos. No unique procedures required. Altered status is suspected but unverified. A blue coffee thermos with a white plastic cap. The logo of the oh dear diner located in Bright Falls, Washington. The cap doubles as a mug. That's how they work, usually. Uh, the item responds to Formula One or Formula I.16, yet no discernible altered effect has been discovered other than keeping liquids warm for surprisingly long periods of time. And that's what a thermos does. It's also worth noting that the coffee from the thermos is always refreshing and strong, no matter its quality before being poured into the item. The thermos was discovered on the shore of uh, Cauldron Lake outside the town of Bright Falls. Both are known sites of re reoccurring uh, AWE. See Bright Falls AWE. Blah, blah, blah. According to witness statements, Alan, Alan Wake... See, prime candidate program entry for further... Who went missing shortly before the discovery of the thermos had been seen something collecting similar thermoses for a something purpose. Alan Wake, Alan Wake. This is the thing that ties the games together. Um, I've only played one of the Alan Wake games. It was really good, but it was such a long time ago I don't remember anything about it. 
but I do remember enjoying it, even though it was very spoopy. <laughs> God. Close. But that object Thanks. of power will wreck this place before I find him. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I haven't I haven't died yet. I haven't died yet. <laughs> I might die. I mean I've died quite a lot. Uh, okay, can we go through, can we go through here? Okay. <laughs> that was good. Uh, oh, we can go down some stairs as well. Okay, well let's have a look along here first. Oh, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. I didn't want to pick up that, I wanted to pick up the rocket that was being launched my way. <laughs> oh shit. Any more? go through there, I guess. Right, I don't want to go through there just yet. I want to explore. I want to explore a little bit. Actually, I don't know if we can go in there. I want to go down first. Let's go Let's go have a little look down and see what's underneath this. Is it literally just nothing? Oh, no, I see something over there. Oh, just looking down into darkness, that's terrifying. Whew. Whew. Uh, that sets off, sets off the vertigo a little bit there. Oh boy. It's so bizarre that you can you can get vertigo from a video game, or even not even necessarily video games, but like you can get it in like movies and TV shows and stuff as well. Is this another object of power? Is this a mailbox? Huh. Okay. A picnic basket. Hey boo boo, there's a picnic basket. So these these are all the little objects of power then I guess. Oh, it's that site that people can't talk about on the internet because they get banned from like Instagram and stuff. Did you get it? Did you get it? Huh? Did you get it? Huh? I know, it was bad. It was bad. It was a bad joke. It was bad, bad joke. It was a terrible joke. It was so bad. There we go. It was a terrible joke. I'm very sorry. It's a hammer. That was a hammer. Huh. Is that supposed to be Mjolnir? Because it doesn't look very it doesn't look very exciting. So I'm guessing it's probably not Mjolnir. But something, something like, why is that being crossed off? Why are things being redacted on the things? Oh, this is the elevator. Okay. Uh, I guess we push the button. Uh, yes. 
something went wrong with the Bureau's plan to make Derek the next director. Marshall made it sound like it was all Dylan's fault, but how much of it was what the Bureau did to him? Well, I don't think she's telling me everything. No, she's probably not. And why would she? More of these, uh, more of these symbols. Seems to be a recurring theme. Looks like it might be another control point over there. This one does not appear to have anything in there at all. Okay. What Hello? scene? Is, it, is anyone there? Hey, I'll be right back. I'll, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna get this control point. I'll come back, I promise. Okay, okay, just don't forget. I can't stare at this thing much longer. <laughs> he has to stare at it constantly? Oh my god. That, that sounds like it would suck. So your job is just to stare at a fridge all day. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, that doesn't sound like fun. Got that sucker. That's where we need to go. So before we do, let's do the same. Let's have a little, let's have a little snoochy booch around here. See what we can find, if anything. Oh, there we go. We haven't got that if we haven't been this way. I think that's probably all we got. Where we are going to find though. Oh wait, can we get down there? If I jump down there, can I get back up again though? That's the question. And I'm not sure, I'm not sure if I can. So it might not be a good idea to do that. Just yet.
that's gross. But also, I'm not going to do anything about it. I'm just going to leave it now. That's the object of power. I need to cleanse it. Well, I guess we're going to the, uh, the astral plane again. A TV now? Is that what's happening? Am I fighting a television? Is that what is that what's about to happen? <laughs> cool. I get guess. I guess we're fighting a TV now. It wasn't so bright. No, nothing. Really? You're gonna wait for me to get in here first before you come to life? Here, take a seat. No? Really? Okay, now we're doing it. Okay. Now I wasted my good puns. Ow. Oh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <sighs> I see. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's that's okay. My God. They just absolutely destroy you. Absolutely destroy you. You have to be so careful. Uh, oh fuck, are we all the way back here again? Oh, for God's sake. Going the wrong way. Nope. Where am I? Am I going the wrong way? Oh, yeah, no, I am going the wrong way. Here we go. Be my friend. 
my friend, be my friend, please don't shoot me, be my friend. ready for this. That is tough. Oh, we almost had him. We almost had him. Oh, man. We were really close. I think maybe maybe I need to, like... I don't know. Maybe I need to, um... Befriend more... Dudes? Run all the way back. Oh, garbage. Garbage. Oh, and now we've got, now we've got peeps. We didn't have to. Where's the orb that's protected? Oh my god, go away. I don't have time for this.
materialize again. Yep. It's so annoying because you back off because they keep coming towards you and then they despawn and then you go forwards and then they respawn and it's they're all back again. <sighs> it's not my day today. Not my day today. Clearly. <sighs> all right. I think. <laughs> I think we'll try again and then if 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 it all goes if it all goes wrong again then uh, I think we're just gonna call it a night. <laughs> right, are you guys gonna spawn again? We're we gonna have this stupid fight again, yeah? Okay. this body around. Are we, are we done with this? Yeah, I'm just going to throw him over there then. Whew. Alright, well, let's have another go at defeating the, the boss in here. I think this is going to have to be the last try for tonight. Uh, and we'll have to pick it up again another time. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Let's go over here. Let's get some help. Uh, let's run away. Fuck. Fuck. I. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do about that. <laughs> okay, I think I think that's enough. Uh, enough dying repeatedly uh, for today. 
chances are if I come back to tomorrow, I'll uh, I'll do it like first time. I'm sure I'm sure that'll that'll be a thing that that'll happen. It's probably not. It's probably not. Um, so yeah, I think I think we'll probably just I think we'll probably just finish there for today, because oh boy, oh boy. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see if there's anyone alive uh, that um, we can send you to. Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look. See if there's anyone alive that I want to send you to. Uh, doesn't look like there is right now. I'm gonna just do another refresh just to make sure. Because sometimes Switch is like, <laughs> yeah, all these people are alive, but we're just not gonna tell you about it. Um, so yeah, so there's there's lots of people that I follow that are uh, alive, but none uh, that would warrant me taking you to particularly. They're all big, big streamers. There's no point in me taking like one or two people over to see a, a big streamer. So uh, I will let the auto host pick somebody up uh, when someone goes live. Uh, I have a whole bunch of people uh, on my auto host, so uh, I will just let that pick and choose. Um, when someone goes live, and then that will take it from there. Uh, yeah, I know it's, it is bizarre that it doesn't update right away. Um, I've had I've had it several times where where that's happened, and I'm just like, why didn't you tell me this person was live before? This person's been live for ages, and yeah, you didn't tell me. But then you know, Twitch, <laughs> glitch con everyone, glitch con. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, so I'm gonna head off. Uh, I'm gonna go and get some food uh, and uh, and a cup of tea because uh, it's it's late. It's late. Uh... <laughs> How many caps did you type? Because I thought I had it so that you could put like a, a reasonable amount. Before it would, uh, before it would, <laughs> before it would time you out. How many, how many caps did you put in? Because I thought I'd change that. Oh, I see. It. I see. Right, right. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's why then. <laughs> I mean, I could, I could, I could change that. But um, uh, can you put clips in? Can you post clips? Because I, I've whitelisted Twitch. In the hope that if you uh, link a clip, it will work. Can you can you try that for me, just to see if it works? Just before I go, it can be any 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 clip, uh, any clip of anything really. But I just want to see if it actually works, uh, and uh, doesn't just time you out again. <laughs> uh, Because I've whitelisted links from Twitch.tv, so hopefully it will work. Hopefully it will work, um, but it might it might not. It might not. Because obviously they always have different. Hey. Okay. Good. Cool. <laughs> I like that. Your channel trailer. Okay. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, I did give you permission to, to link whatever you like, I guess, so it's my own fault, really. <laughs> okay, right, cool. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go. Um, uh, if Yeah, it was very cheeky. If if there's anyone here that isn't already following, it's Zaf. Uh, he also streams, and he's a very funny, very funny man. Um, funny, peculiar, and funny, haha. Uh, so if you're not following him, you should follow him, because he, he's, he's a good dude. Um, yeah, thank you very much, man. Uh, thank you for for hanging around. Um, I do appreciate it, even when you're just lurking. Uh, I'm I'm always happy to 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 talk to you in your ears while you're doing something else. That's always fun. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, might stream tomorrow, maybe. We'll see. Um, yeah, cool. All right, thanks very much. I'm gonna say goodbye. And stop waffling on and press the end stream button. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna, just gonna. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.